probably be something of a chess match, don't you think, Greg? Both these squads love to run intelligent half-court strategies. Yeah, you can expect to see some interesting playmaking as these squads try to open each other up and create opportunities to score. So the opening lineup for the Heat, the wing set for them, Hero and Butler. Bam Adebayo is out there with Martin, and it's Lowry in at the one. Hero against Mitchell. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. Well, why did Donovan Mitchell win the dunk contest? Case in point right there. Butler kicks to Hero. Inside. And Adebayo throws it down. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Mitchell. Here's Allen. The second chance effort. In the corner, it's Mobley. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Here's Mitchell. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. His first. Tyler Hero picks one up. It can be an overlooked aspect of his game, but Donovan Mitchell, excellent at getting to the free throw line. That's because of the pressure he could put on your defense. And Mitchell drops them both. And you figured once Gobert was traded, it was a matter of time before Mitchell was moved as well. You knew a team would jump at the chance to add him, and here we are now. A new start with a starring role for Donovan Mitchell. And it's sent back by Allen. But Jared Allen, a rim protector at its finest. What a hate block. Mitchell dishes to Garland. The feed to Allen. And slam dunk by Allen. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Hero against Mitchell. Now, Hero. He's covered closely. Martin, the pass to Lowry. From deep. Jared Allen grabs the miss. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, uh, they're going for the throat. Garland against Lowry. And the pass to Butler. Can't hit that one. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. Garland, the pass to Allen. And then Allen slams it in. Nice play. And you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. And so here is Miami. The Cavaliers making the shot. Hero against Mitchell. Back to Butler. Lowry for three. It doesn't go for him. And Cleveland will come the other way. It's a victory here for the home team. Last time these guys met. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. They were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. I think there was no question they brought a level of physicality along with a tremendous work ethic, and it was why they were successful. And the first time out of the game called for the Heat. Let's get up and get it out for some peace, Max Truce has checked in for Tyler Hero. So a moment now to see the story for Tyler Hero. Here's Lowry. 11 points for him in that last game against Charlotte. And winning has become more consistent in Miami than ever. Jimmy Butler was acquired, made it all the way to the finals in his first year, and have steadily won games each season. Now, here's Mitchell. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. And that one is good. 
And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And with the Heat, uh, GA, they've been a consistent force in the Eastern Conference. Kevin, lots of talent up and down that roster from stars like Butler and all the way down to the role players. This is just a solid team. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Otto Bayer. Oladipo comes in for Caleb Martin. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. Six on the shot clock. The kick out to Oladipo. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Well, terrific read from Jimmy Butler. He is unwilling to get sped up. He knows when to place the pass and where. Lined up there for Allen. Detman with the block. To the paint. Stolen by Mitchell. Outside Garland in the corner. Okoro with it. Mobley outside. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Some solid defense from Butler. The Heat trail by 10. Here's Vincent. No points in the game yet for him. And they double up Butler. Excellent D there from Allen. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Allen with the screen for Garland. Pass to Allen. Mitchell outside. Garland the pass to Allen. Detman with the block. There's 37 seconds left here in the first quarter. And Darius Garland picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And Miami making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Shot from the inbound. And that's two points on the layup. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. His team is down there with the way he went at the rim. You know they'll keep fighting the entire game. And Oladipo kicks to Struess. Three-pointers off the mark. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Garland, nice D from Oladipo. A shot missing. Jonathan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for Cleveland. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Back to the action in just a minute. Fans, please give a big round of applause for your Cavaliers. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. But what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Cavaliers? I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. And their assist total, also impressive early, creating with the pass and playing for teammates. On the court for the Heat, at the guard spot, Lowry and Hero. Max Drews is out there with Martin, and it's Adebayo in at the center, filling out the middle. Here's Adebayo, following the score by Cleveland. Outside, Hero. Pass to Struce. Six to shoot. The Heat need to get a shot off. Here's Hero. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And this is a shot he could definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Here's Levert. And Lopez has it in the corner. Stolen by Mark. Hero with it. Guarded now by Kevin Love. Hero passes to Lowry. Hero on the wing, covered by Rubio. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And how about the moxie of this kid? Hero has flair to his game. He, he's fun to watch. And I tell you, he wouldn't be any fun to play against. And it's a completely new group for Cleveland. 
And Miami with a change here, too. Butler's checked in. Gee, it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. And here are the Heat now. The Cavaliers making the shot. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Martin wide open. He fires. And again, it's the Heat missing. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Allen inside. Defended by Butler. Mobley outside. Stolen by Martin. Butler against Garland. Pass to Lowry. Fires the three. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Allen's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And there's the pass to Mitchell. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Cleveland shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. Greg, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, so to speak? You know, Kevin, it's a, a great question because somebody's going to put up points or, or collect rebounds or get assists. So you, know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing teams. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Down by 15. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, I mean, on the road, tough environment. They were right there, but just missed some key shots. You know what? Playing on the road is always challenging. It requires a level of energy and focus. You've got to match what the home team gives you, and they didn't do it. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Karis LeVert's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. Kane, he's checked in for Miami. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Stolen by Rubio. Here's Steffens. He's covered by Hero. Kicks it out to Rubio. Lavert in the corner. Cleveland moving the ball around. Five on the clock. Steffens. Kicks it out to Rubio. Over Lowry. Rubio misses. The Heat trail by 12. Here's Hero. And it comes off the front of the rim. For Cleveland, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. With the drive. Lopez passes to Love. Hero against Levert. Back to Love. It's stolen by Adebayo. Down low. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He, he's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. You know, hats off to him for staying active inside. Lopez just creating his own offense. Timeout called the Heat. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Group in for the Heat. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Otto Bayer. Robinson comes in for Jimmy Butler. Max Truce is checked in for Hero. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. Now here is Robinson. Here's Vincent. 
We've got 113 left to play here in the half. Here's Struce. They get it again. Here's Robinson. And what a play. Just snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Jared Allen putting on a show. Get out of his way, folks. It's coming down on your head. There's 57 seconds left in the first half of basketball. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Dedman. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Allen's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Garland. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Here's Vincent. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Robinson for three. And they recover it. LeVert grabs the miss. Cleveland leading by 16. Garland left side. Pass to LeVert. Uses both ends to slam it down. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Welcome, everybody. Let's get right to it. It's been nothing short of a tremendous challenge for the Miami Heat. Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not protecting the rim, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I've had at least 30 by now, guys. And let's get back to our featured game, a fantastic battle between these two guys. It's been a good old-fashioned brawl down low. Two bigs getting physical, playing like it's 1999. I'm loving it, and I think these guys are enjoying it as well. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter, sliced right through them. His penetration was a real problem for them. And then, of course, the monster finishes at the cup. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell. There's a measure of composure with Donovan Mitchell, just so calm and focused, understanding how to manipulate the pick and roll. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam King. And of course, one of the league's longest tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolstra. And he's having a Hall of Fame level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian-American head coach in any of the four major North American sports league and worked his way up from video coordinator. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. It's an 18-point game. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. They're in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. And this is too easy for Adebayo. Once he's close to the rim, he is going to damage it. Mitchell passes to Allen. To the middle, pocket six. Garland, no good. The Heat trail by 16. Lowry with the ball. Garland picks him up. Over in the corner, Hero. Rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got nine rebounds now tonight. 
Garland kicks to Okoro. Cleveland with a fresh shot clock. Three-pointer. That one, no good. Only 20% shooting in this quarter. They need to settle down and relax a little bit here. Shots good by Hero. Boy, that's three, three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Garland against Lowry. Garland the pass to Allen. Mitchell outside. Butler with the steal. Pass to Autobio. And here is Hero. Oh, it up for Autobio. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. He lobs up the alley hoop pass. And then Mitchell with the dunk. Guys, how often do you see an alley hoop designed for your guard? Donovan Mitchell defies explanation. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. It's tipped. It's stolen by Allen. Bounce pass from Garland. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Lowry leading the charge. And yes, it's good. Adebayo's got eight. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. And the man who many consider the greatest Raptor of all time, Kyle Lowry. He said he plans to return to retire in Toronto someday. He's already had a street named after him there. And in time, probably a statue in his honor as well. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. And Miami also making a switch. Oladipo's checked in. Lowry against Rubio. To the inside. It's stolen by Martin. And now running it up the court. Martin pushing it up. The shot by Autobio. No good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Butler with the steal. Oats it up for Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. With strong athleticism, Adebayo can finish just about any lob with his large catch ratings. Rubio finds Levert. Lopez, a screen on Oladipo. It's stolen by Adebayo. In transition, here comes Miami. Launches the three. The offensive rebound with the second effort. Off the mark, only his second miss in seven attempts. The Cavaliers leading by 11. Here's Levert. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Martin with the screen for Lowry. Oladipo for three. Steffens pulls it in. Cavaliers have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found a temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. K.D., uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. And the Heat making a change here. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Robinson comes in for Caleb Martin. Max Cruz has checked in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. Deft touch on the alley -oop. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Cleveland? 
they've been playing some really physical offense, just attacking the paint as much as possible. And I tell you what, they have been very successful with that strategy. Also, I just love how hard they've taken the ball to the rack. They've made a point of attacking, and it's led to them getting buckets. Oladipo misses. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Kane, he's checked in for Miami. The Heat trail by 15. Here's Vincent. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. The Cavaliers pull it in. They led the game at one point by 20. The try by Mitchell. Uses the glass to finish the lane. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Passes it to Kane. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Deep two from Robinson. Got the ball! It went down! He got the ball! He did it! Your Cavaliers. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for the Cavaliers. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. And we'll be back with you shortly. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. We get going in quarter number four. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. At the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. Butler out there with Max Struess. And it's Robinson in at the center. A pass to Hero. Down to five on the shot clock. Top of the key jumper, no good. Yeah, they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now is massive. Well, if you don't stay in front and you allow him room to drive, you will pay the consequence. Donovan Mitchell with authority. Now, Hero. It's Robinson high post. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the first one at the line is good. Robinson, two shots. And he makes the first, but misses the second. The Cavaliers leading by 16. Bobbed up there for Mitchell. Throws down the alley and slam. Donovan Mitchell is more than capable of carrying an offense for stretches. Right now, the defense has nothing for him. Here's Hero. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Butler with the ball, and Allen picks him up defensively. Spruce's shot is good. Well, when the playmaking duties fall to Jimmy Butler, he is more than capable. Garland against Lowry. Kicks it out to Allen. Mobley looking it over. And Mobley throws it down hard. Oh, my goodness. Evan Mobley using just about all of that 40-inch vertical. 
Here's Lowry. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. While their pass is a hero. Knocked away. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And here's what the Cavaliers schedule looks like. On Thursday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Sunday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And the Heat call time here. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Donovan Mitchell. And his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Lopez, a screen on Adebayo. And the dunk by Lopez. Well, just solid, tight pick-and-roll situation from Lopez. Something he runs very well. Loads it up for Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some thunder. Yeah. Rubio, the kick out to Lopez. It's stolen by Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. It's Levert on the wing. No good. And Miami the other way now. Kicks it out to Hero. Good, and Butler gets the assist. In that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second, trying to use that shot to stay in the game. Love draws the double. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And great for Kevin Love. He feels like he's got a lot of years left in the league. And Kevin, coming off the bench, should lengthen the end of his career. He can thrive as a bench weapon with that green light. In you. He's got that light to let it fly with that shot. And you've got to love the energy right now. They got hot when they absolutely had to. It took a shift in strategy, but it seems like they figured it out. Let's see if they can extend this run all the way to the finish. Levert finds Lopez. They can't stop the run with that one. The Heat trail by 10 inside. Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And terrific to see Adebayo putting up big numbers. He's continuing to grow as a scorer. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're up by eight. We've got 155 left to play in the final quarter. And the Cavaliers with some changes. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin, thanks. During that last break, I listened in to J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. His demeanor was not one of the coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. See if they were listening, guys. Thank you, David. Pulls up. I post. Count it. And the Cavalier lead has been cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Hero. And when you watch Hero play, it's no surprise he's a gym rat. He can score from any spot on the floor. But that's a finish he'll be bragging about for a while. <laughs> As he should. Very impressive. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. Hero with it. Adebayo with a screen on Mitchell. Hero passes to Adebayo. Lowry has the open look. Misses the three. And so Allen will bring it up now for the Cavaliers. They led the game at one point by 20. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Cavaliers. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And so checking out their record tonight, Elmark win number 32 overall. 
And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Donovan Mitchell. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. The drive by Mitchell. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Martin for three. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. To the left side wing. The wide open look here for Garland. Offline with his three. Hero way outside. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And this is what they came out to do. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.